Hey YouTube, Alex Cordell here. Today, we have a little older of a product, released in 2015, but still holds up amazingly today. We're going to be looking at the Logitech G29 steering wheel. I'll go over why I chose this one over the G920 here shortly. First, let's start with the unboxing. It's a pretty straightforward unboxing. Inside, you'll find the power adapter, the wheel itself, and of course, the pedals. And that's all that's in the box. As of making this video, both the G29 and G920 are on sale for $100 US dollars off, bringing it to $299.99 on Logitech's website. There is also an optional shifter that you can buy for only $59.99. I haven't purchased it yet, but I have used one of my friends set up, and it does feel nice and sturdy. The shifter is a six speed with a push down reverse gear and is made of high quality steel and leather. Now to the wheel specs. It is made with high quality leather as well and has a hand stitched wheel cover, and it really does feel great. It also has a 900 degree rotation and dual motor force feedback for true immersion. The pedals have a carpet grip system to prevent sliding a non-linear brake, textured heel grips, and they do self-calibrate for a truer experience. Quick side note, the G29 is on sale as of making this video on Amazon for only $279.99 US dollars. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, the reason I chose the G29 over the G920 and why I think it's a tad bit better is actually for only two reasons. One, it has a built-in LED rev indicator, and two, it has a few more buttons in the G920 for more key mapping. That is literally the only two reasons. Other than that, they are pretty much exactly the same. Now, if you're not on PC, then you don't have much of a choice of the two, as the G920 is for Xbox and PC only, and the G29 is for PlayStation and PC only. However, there is a newer model, the G923 for an extra $100, that has improved features, and both consoles have the rev indicator and the same number of buttons. Back to the wheel itself, it does have a nice cable management area underneath the wheel, and this is also where you plug everything into. The mounting process is extremely easy and looks and holds really well. Very sturdy. Next, I'll show off a little gameplay. Here is an example of the LED rev indicator. And here's what your wheel does when you spin out and crash.
Well, that is all for this video. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button as it really helps me out. And I hope that this video helped you decide if the G29 is for you or not. As always, thank you and see you in the next one.